Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNoffMote.com and in today's little video I'm going to be looking at how you can customise and add RSS feeds straight into Blink Feed, which is the built-in sort of RSS magazine uh, content uh, consumption um, part of the HTC Sense operating system. Um, Blink Feed kind of resides on the left-hand home screen um, on your phone. Uh, this is the HTC One Max, but obviously you could... You could, this would apply to the HTC One and HTC One Mini as well. Now, as you probably know already, one of the things you can do is you can go into, he says, <laughs> why does this always do this to me when I'm trying to do this bit? I don't want that. I just want to look at the height. Right. We can go into the settings and then we can choose what we want to look at. So, for example, I've got mine set up so I can look at highlights. Um, we could go in to the settings and then um, we can add various different uh sources for content that we might want to read on the internet um, CNET, TechCrunch stuff, there's loads of different ways that you can uh, search for different um, uh, things that you you might well want to read um, you can search by category, you could actually have a look through and actually uh, search for, for um, different content streams if you like but one of the things that um, is a little bit tricky with it is RSS feeds because it can handle RSS feeds and sometimes when you do search for topics they will uh, an RSS feed will come along but what you often want to do is you'll want to add an RSS feed from a particular website and I'm gonna show you to do this both both in a way where the RSS feed is obvious and sometimes where the RSS feed isn't obvious okay so, so let's say we're um let's say we're browsing the web let's say say we were looking at say, uh, scott kelby's blog so let's do a google search for scott kelby and um, let's go to scottkelby.com and what will probably happen is if I, what you'll probably see all right here we go so we've got scott kelby's blog here and we might go, oh god, we really, you know, really like Scott Kelby's stuff. Um, I, uh, you know, I subscribe to his stuff in RSS feed readers maybe, but I'd really like to add this to Blink Feed. Now the way that you do it is you look around and you look for an RSS button. And lo and behold, see this coloured, orange coloured thing here? That's the RSS button. So if we press that, and it says complete action using all these sorts of things now you're looking for one that says blink feed if it doesn't say blink feed on it just press internet and let it clunk to the next one and what it will do it will then we're going into an rss feed it's actually going to recognize this and it's kicked us into um, a, a blink feed now and what you're looking for is this little plus in the top right hand corner if we now press plus to that one we've now subscribed on blink feed to scott kelby's photoshop insider blog so what we can do now is if we come out of this and go to back to blink feed um, it's still on my sort of highlights one if we come down and go into the settings if we come down here oh sorry this at the top isn't it if we go to custom topics here then if you go down to here it says scott kelby's photoshop insider and um, it might take a while to update there we go and now we've got um a custom rss of scott kelby's um uh, blog so now we can go in and then we can read all about it and we can click on the links and come out of it that way. So that's very easy. So you can, that's obviously just showing you there how you can, uh, when you're on a website, you can find uh, the RSS button, which is normally uh, an orange circle or the like, or a square circle. And then you can, uh, you can add it to Blink Feed. However, sometimes the RSS isn't obvious. So uh, this is one that I found the other day. So let's have a look at, um, what was it? Psychology for psychology photographers for photographers. I don't really know much about this website. I haven't really looked at it much. Now, as you can probably see, it's dumped us into a, uh, a mobile version of the site, which is good. And we might think, oh yeah, we really like this and we like the posts, but looking around it, you know, I can't see anything with the RSS button on it. So you can say, okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's look for the desktop view. Let's go into the settings and change that and see if there's an RSS button here. So remember, we're looking for one of those, one, that kind of orange kind of icon. Normally it's on the sides. As we hunt around, there's nothing about an RSS feed here. 
Now it's a blog, um, and most websites are based around uh, CSS or um, sorry, yeah, CMS, it's content management systems. So there will be an RSS feed for this site. We just can't see it. So what we can do is if you tap on the top of the, the screen to get the URL up, where it says psychology for photographers, if we now uh, forward slash, if we now add feed and press enter, and we can, again, we get one of these uh, little um, bits up. So we now we just say, get yeah, complete it using the internet, which is our browser. And let's see what happens. Dunk. Right, it's just like as if we'd clicked on a um, an RSS feed, we've gone into Blink Feed and we're looking again for this little plus sign up here. We can hit plus and that has now been added to our, um, our list of Blink Feed kind of custom content so that we can look at it that way. How cool is that? So there we go. So when you want to add content to Blink Feed, not only can you, you know, do it the easy way, which is where you're looking out for the RSS icon. In fact, tell you what, let me do... Let me do a quick image search for RSS icon. RSS icon. There we go. Just so we can show you what it looks like. There we go. So that's that's the kind of icons you're looking at, this sort of thing. And you click on that, and then it might take you straight into Blink Feed and say, do it with Blink Feed. Or you might have to say, do it with the browser, do it with the internet. And then it will kick you into Blink Feed, and then you press a little plus. Or if you visit a website where it's not obvious, where there isn't any obvious RSS icons, just click on the top where the URL is, go to the end, and then just add from the home page. So if it was like you know, photography.com, it would be photography. To, uh, so it's photography.com slash index. It would be photography.com slash index slash feed. And if there is an RSS feed, that will then find it, and then you can add that into um, Blink Feed. So... Um, there we go, that's how you do it. Um, oh, I'll give you one other hint as well, is if you um, want to uh, have Blink Feed, in fact, I think when you get the phone uh, standard to start off with, Blink Feed is set as the home screen. And so what we can do is we can say, set that as the home. So now if we come out of this, whenever I press the home button, ooh, let's come out. I'm just always gonna go back to Blink Feed like that. However, you may not, might not really want that, so again, just go into um, this section and then just tap on your middle screen. Whoops. And then say, ooh, let's tap that one and then set that as home. And that means that whenever I press the home button in an app or anything, it takes me back to there and not back into Blink Feed. So there we go. That's my little hints and tips about how you can add RSS to Blink Feed. My name's Rob from robnonfo.com. Thanks for watching.